For days now, we've been hoping to report on a resolution to the insurance dispute between Blue Cross Blue Shield and Methodist Le Bonheur. But despite months of negotiations, there is still no progress. No progress. As of January 1st, Blue Cross Blue Shield is no longer accepted at Methodist. However, tonight, WREG problem solver Stacy Jacobson tells us how patients may still be able to get care and even save some money. When federal laws requiring hospitals to post prices went into effect in 2021, advocates made this proclamation. This is a first because it puts consumers in the driver's seat. More than a year later, Cynthia Fisher says you can see the impacts, like in New York, where published rates led one employer to cut out an entire hospital system. It was such a windfall for all of those workers that they raised their wages by $3,000. And here in the Mid-South, a major insurance company is also cutting out an entire health care system. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Tennessee members are no longer in network at Methodist Le Bonheur facilities after the two couldn't reach a deal. BCPS says it used public data to find its members were paying higher rates. Finding that they're being overcharged by their plan and carving them out is, in fact, health care price transparency working. Cynthia Fisher is the chairman of patientrightsadvocate.org. Her group used the new public data to compare the costs of common procedures at major hospitals in Memphis, like colonoscopies and ER visits. For every procedure, they found higher rates at Methodist hospitals, such as nearly 200 percent more for a colonoscopy. She says the data shows patients they can get cheaper care if they go elsewhere. This is the beginning of great news of empowerment for patients to be able to have the insurance carrier actually have shopped. In a statement released to WREG, Methodist Le Bonheur officials say BCBS is trying to disrupt the physician-patient relationship and the ability of patients to access advanced care. Parents tell us Le Bonheur Children's Hospital is often their only choice. There are things happening to my son that have critical windows that if it doesn't happen within a certain time, could have lifelong effects. Fisher says for now, you could travel to another area like this mom does with her son taking him to Cincinnati. She also suggests doing your homework, looking online at discounted cash prices. Her group found at Methodist Le Bonheur facilities, those are often the cheapest rates. We're starting to be able to compare prices and starting to move toward a functional marketplace. Fisher says for patients, this may be some short-term pain for a long-term win. Solving problems, Stacey Jacobson, WREG News Channel 3. Methodist Le Bonheur officials say they use their funding to purchase state-of-the-art equipment, invest in infrastructure, and pay staff. And just about 10 minutes before we went on the air, they sent us a statement disputing the numbers found by patient rights advocates. We'll post it uh, with this story on WRG.com. Both sides say negotiations are ongoing.